Just Like Me is a cultural arts and education experience that is designed to help uh, 16 and 17 year old teenagers in foster care realize what their natural talent is. Just Like Me means that uh, we're all the same even though we have our own unique qualities and individuality. There are some common denominators that make us similar in nature. So that's our bonding point. That's our that's our tie. But I am invisible. Just like me, the idea for this camp um, to me means what do I want people to know about me because I think especially kids who are really vulnerable to uh, the system and being kind of moved along, uh, especially if they're not in the care of their own parents, their own families, the impression that people might get in school or might get anywhere may not be who they really are. There was broken glass and blood on the streets. To her surprise, the blood hit her knees. They say it was suicide. They say it was murder. But of this burden, her mother was hurting. At first I was like, oh, this is getting really complicated. Songwriting is so hard. And then, as I uh, go through it, it's turning out pretty easy. I just find the things that I most like in the world, and uh, I just put it down on paper. I like to say the words that's on my mind. I say, pink, punk, rock, pink, punk, rock, what? The camp was designed so that as they learn their craft and find their talent, they're telling their story and they can tell it past, present, or future. It's been a really creative week. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff that I've learned as a person, and I, I know run with a lot of my opinions on things have changed. Like how I work with people has changed. Um, how I think about things has changed. It's really just opened my eyes to a new world of just discovery and music and just sociology or whatever. Um, really just seeing what, they come, what they've been coming up with. I had no idea they were so talented and that they could put together such amazing things in such a short period of time. I'm very impressed with them. Now I'm amazed at how talented these kids are. It, it's like they've been, all this talent's been bottled up inside them and we just uncorked it and the words and the, the, the song and the dance and the things that have come out are just incredible. On Tuesday they actually came up with their own beat, we created the beat, laid it down. So now they're basically fine-tuning the lyrics and the hooks. So after this we're going to actually lay the hook down. And, and show them how to actually build the record after, once we start recording. So they're going to lay the hook, and one artist is going to come in and lay the verse. So right now they're just pretty much putting the last finishing touches on it. I've just seen so much growth, so much of their personalities develop, and watching people that have never had exposure to the art and my love, which is dance, exposure to dance, and to watch them blossom. Build up my confidence, don't let my nervousness get in my way, and go hard or go home. My routine is about my past, present, and future. My dance is, is going to tell my story within life and where I came from and where I'm going and where I'm at. Right now, what we, I've taught them um, a, a few different styles of hip hop. Uh, this week, they also learned some ballet and some uh, modern. They're really stepping outside of their comfort zones and trusting us and taking every word that we give them. And they're, they're absorbing it like sponges. The logo is actually being created by the kids. They, uh, uh, young adults. They came up with uh, they came up with the idea, um, and we're just I mean they're doing it, and we're just kind of guiding them and helping them uh, make sure that they know how to uh, how to get it ready. Uh, we're working on T-shirts today, working on getting the designs for the T-shirts done, 
So, uh, so we'll get those, uh, you know, finished up and, um, they I mean, they've been doing great with it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just mad, y'all. I'm feeling new, y'all, but yeah, I'm getting the door, y'all. I'm glad I'm up here. I overcame my fear. I'm rapping to y'all from my heart, feeling That's how I feel. I'm rapping to y'all. I'm gonna get you know, y'all. You already know, y'all. Some friends, I wanna get to know y'all. Tell your family, tell your friends. You feel me? That's how I feel. Kid, bro, that's how I feel. I'm a pastor to my boys, you feel me? That's how I feel. Let them take off for me. You feel me? That's how I feel. Let them take off for me. You feel me? I'm a pastor to my boys, bitch. Let them take off for me. You feel me? Let's go. To know everybody first that you pick your course that like you want to do acting dance everything and whatever you feel good at you want to learn teach go in and the teachers they help you if you don't know and then like they work with you and it's good because you know teachers at school they're like ah do this and it's like boring but here it's like they work with you they dance with you they act with you they rap with you <laughs> sing with you help you write it's great very fun lots to do you get to learn some new things about yourself and you get to make up camera I voices think. like Tristan exactly it's my camera voice um, I'm talking about the suicide the rape the depression just about all the aspects of my life what I want to do in my future um, and I have great people to help me do that Even though it's hard, or whatever, and I'm not perfect, but I know I can do it, and I can try. So, I got a will to fight for what I want. Always do what you want to do, what you feel is inside your soul, and never be afraid to express it. And that way, that will separate you from the rest. Don't say I can't. You might not like where you are, what's going on, but I wanted to say, I can find a way to do anything because one of the things I wrote down is our theme when we first started that I can do anything and I can help anybody but you have to want to do it and you have to allow somebody to help you so that's what I want them to do let people help them and don't tell themselves they can't do something I would just say that we probably pulled off way more than we imagined it would be um, this camp has become a really amazing experience all around I think for the instructors and for the kids and we hoped it would be but I think it's exceeded our expectations. This is something that these kids will take away from them and be able to use in the future and it might be a new love and a new passion that they now have as a result of us doing the camp. You are some of the most talented, creative, expressive kids that I've ever met. So I'm very proud of them. I'm, I'm very proud of their bravery and their willingness to share their stories. It's it's quite a treat to hear other people's stories. I mean, uh, Natasha's story here, she's got quite a story. Um, a lot of people in our group have just amazing stories. I mean, of course, I'm not at liberty to share their stories. That's up to them. But I think that um, we all have our own journey that we've been on. And uh, maybe this is an opportunity for us to share. I appreciate it. It's been a real life experience, and uh, I hope, I wish I could do it again sometime, but I'm gonna be too old. Well, I'd like to tell them thank you guys. You've given me the most awesome experience of my life. Thank you so much for allowing me to come and. I just thank Brenda for encouraging me to come because I wasn't going to come because I didn't know what it was. We was just happy that y'all had this program for us. We uh, really enjoyed it and we met new people, met new friends, and got something that we like to do. We learned how to trust people. And build up our confidence. Build up our confidence, self-esteem, same Learn thing. Learn to dance move, yep. get in shape, get stay out of trouble. And that's about it. Ignore negativity. Hello. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're awesome. I love y'all guys. I have a lot of respect for y'all. A lot.